For my friends who know me, they know that I'm a Linux user, not a Windows user, and I know very little about Windows. But I do know enough about Windows to know that Inkscape works very well on Windows. And I know when I used, before I retired, I used Inkscape extensively when I made flow charts for my company when I my computer programs. So, I'm going to show you how to use it here in order to format pictures to fit on a sheet of paper. So what I'm going to do here is open up Inkscape right off the bat. So I go to start, type in ink, and Inkscape comes right up here. So we wait for it to load up. And I have used Inkscape for years and years. And I, on Linux, I have mine set up just the way I want it. But we're going to pretend here that we're just starting from scratch. So, the first thing I'm going to do is come up here and change some, my document properties. I'm going to File, Document Properties, and I want my display units to be millimeter or inches. I don't know what a millimeter is since I'm a Kentuckian. And so, change it to inches, and I want to set it up for my printer. I don't have an A4 printer because I'm broke. I have an 8.5 by 11 printer. And this particular document I want in portrait mode. So it's going to be tall and narrow. <laughs> so I think that's all there is to setting up our document properties. And now then the next thing I'm going to show you is the rectangle tool. And that's this guy right up here. And you draw this. And I can't remember how Inkscape comes right out of the box uh, after you install it. But notice when I draw my rectangle, it's got the color palette here. So you can make the color anything you want. And you'll pick a C. Uh, I think think it comes default at 100% like this and so that's why I'm going to set it up here so I'm going to show you how to fix this now I'm going to delete my rectangle and now that I'm going to import a picture I took out of a page of a book and my scanner <laughs> Since I'm a poor old man, is a Canon digital camera, and it's got pretty good lenses. So the better the picture you take, the better the the scan, quote unquote, scan will look. So we're going to come up here to File, Import, and I'm going to my big old external hard drive here, and I got a. Uh, picture I took out of a book called BNL BNO Riverdale that pink oh we're gonna open that up and we're just gonna click OK here now as you learn to use Inkscape you can do a lot of things with it but this works very well and just the default and you noticed I'm going to my select button up here I'm going to drag this down in the page. You see, it's just a little bit too big to fit on my page. And I also have some garbage here because when you take pictures, rather than having a nice handheld scanner that you can just scan beautifully, things are always a little crooked, especially when you're old and shaky like me. And so what we want to do, the first thing I'd like to do is straighten this picture out a little bit. Well, on Inkscape, this is a piece of cake. So when I import it in, you notice how these arrows just look like this. But what I want to do is rotate it. So all you have to do is left click on the image and notice how those arrows turn into these little circular things like this. And look what you can do once you get it to that point. 
So that looks pretty good for a demonstration purpose. That looks pretty straight. So now I'm going back to my selection mode. And all I want to do is extract the text. I don't particularly care to extract this. And this is, again, I'm setting you up for using Tesseract later on to convert pictures of books into actual text. <laughs> so we're going to go this route right now. So now then what we want to do is crop the image. Yes, this is really fun in uh, Inkscape, so let me show you how we do it. First of all, we create a rectangle. And I just want to put this rectangle. Oh, oh boy, am I in trouble. I can't see a daggone thing. I don't know where I stand. So, well, let's come down here to fill. And click on fill. We'll see where my mouse is right there. And we're going to bring up the, the efficacy thing deal I was talking about earlier on. And I usually try to set this for about 5%. So we'll end up dragging 5%. Both ways. And now that you can see how this is a pretty gray. And if you prefer pink, you can click on the color palette up here and make it any color you want. So this is really a powerful tool. And yeah, it looks like I got that just a little bit on the wide side, so I'm going to click on my select button up there, that arrow right there at the top. And let's drag this in just a little bit. And let's drag this down just a little bit, so... Oh, it's starting to look good. And these come up just a little bit. So now then we're ready to crop. And cropping in Inkscape, uh, I tell you, the way I do it is I hit the Control A key to select everything. You can also go, go to Edit Select All. Boom, there it is. And now then we got everything selected and we're ready to crop. So now what we do is come up to Object and we come to Clip and we come to Set. And voila, all we have left is our text. So let's click our Select button there. That big old arrow up there or the right and drag this to where it's centered in the page. Now as you play with Thinkscape you're going to find out it does a lot of things. Uh, you can even put your own text in. So you can say, yeah, hey, this is Butch's article. And there are all kinds of alignment tools that are available, and I'm just going to apply it, say this way beyond the scope of this particular video. But anyway, that's how you can format or take a picture you took out of a book or a scan and get it to fit on an 8.5 by 11 sheet. So now that we're all set, ready to export this to a ping file. So now then we come up here to file, export to ping object. And we're going to do the whole page because we got our page set up this way. So I'll come up here to export area I say I want to export the entire page. You can see our page is eight and a half by eleven right there. And this should be zeros, or x0, zero, y0 zero should be 0.00, zero zero zero, and everything else is 8.5 by 11. 
So I'm going to export this to where I want it to go. And in my case, I'm storing everything in a Julie a folder called Julie Riker on my computer. And we're going to call this Butch Article. Just so we'll know what it is. And we we'll click save here. So now we review this right here, make sure it's exactly where we want it to go. We'll just click the arrow left and arrow right. And that looks good to me. So now that we're come down here and just click export. Now we come to Windows Explorer, open it up. Let's go to our Julie Riker folder. And there's Butch article right there. Let's see what it looks like when we open it up. Double click. And there it is on an eight and a half by eleven whoops. Eight and a half by eleven sheet of paper. Right there. And when you print this, it'll just be amazing. And I, I'm going to tell you something about Inkscape. I just showed you the very, very, very tip of the iceberg what it can do. And I recommend there's all kinds of good sources on the Internet showing you how you can actually make this print. Blow it up and shrink it down. All kinds of good things. But uh, when it comes to cropping, this is the way you do it.